Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Plan Sarah Plan, and welcome to my plan with me for June 6th through the 12th. Today I'm using a sticker sheet from Erin Condren, and this is painted banana leaves. I did my own colorway in this, which just means that I changed the background color because I love pink and green together. So is it any wonder that I loved the seasonal surprise box? Okay, today I'm trying a totally different lighting setup. I have not been happy with lighting for the entire time that I've been down here in the planner castle, which is a room in my basement. So, you know, lighting is not the best in basements generally. Look how nice that is. So today what I did was I took my lights that I have three lights that are hooked to my desk and they're very bright, but for some reason when I shine them right on my desk, it's just too harsh and I get a lot of shadowing. So what I've done instead is point the lights up toward the ceiling and then I placed a sheet of white poster board above them so that the light reflects off of that down here so it's not quite as, quite as uh, harsh, but you know, I can still see shadows. So I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I just know I don't wanna spend a fortune on it. So I wanna rig some kind of a setup that will keep it bright, mimic sunlight, and also not give us any harsh shadows. I just feel like leaving that June exposed, so I'm not going to cover that up like I normally do. And for this, I actually have some date covers to use, so I feel like I don't need to cover this up. I can do it. Do I want to do it? Maybe. Let's look at it with the date covers first and then decide. Okay, so here's what I think we're going to go with. I've experimented just a little bit off camera. I've printed some Design Lovely Studio date covers, and this is just a green that I think matches the decor here, the banana leaves a little bit closer than this aquamarine that's on the page. And then, you know, there's also some dark green mixed in. So what if we do this? We take a date number and put it on top of the pink. I think that coordinates really well. So let's do this all the way across. And I've trimmed Thursday off because on these day covers, it goes Monday through Thursday on one strip, which would work, I think, for the Moxie Life. But you have to modify it for the Erin Condren and just connect the Friday part to where you left off with Thursday, and then trim off this, which is intended for a sidebar. So I actually could take it over here and add it to this as a header for my memory verse. I don't think I can cut off something that tiny unless I get a grip on it with my tweezers. Ah, it worked, it worked. Okay, I learned something new. This little cutter is called a handy scraper and I have them linked in my video description. They're super cheap and you might be able to find some at your Dollar Tree or your CVS, but if you don't want to go searching, just click on the link um, for Amazon and you'll get a collection of, I don't know, four or five of them. And it might be five to seven dollars. I can't really remember what they charge for that. But they are perfect for cutting washi and sticker paper. So I just realized, I mean, I no, I didn't just realize it, but it's just starting to hit me that it's almost time to move into the new planner if you have the academic year planner. And that's what I do as a teacher. It works a little better for me that way. So we have this week, and then next week we'll be up to the 19th. The week after that will be up to, what, the 26th or 25th or something? And then we start the new planner. So there's this, I think there's three Plan With Me's left in the binder for me. And then I'm going to a coiled life planner, and I got it out to show you, to remind you which one I'm going to get. I mean, use. This is the one. It's a vegan leather cover. 
I wanted a more permanent cover, even though I love interchangeable covers, because I felt like this would kind of gradually step me back from the binder to a coiled planner. Because as you may or may not know, Erin Condren has discontinued the weekly version of the binder. You can only get the daily version now. So I really like the hourly format, and so my only choice in getting the hourly format was to go with a coil. So I did choose a gold coil, that's always been my favorite, and a vegan leather cover. I just kind of like the sturdy, um, substantial look of this. And this is the colorful Harmony on the outside, and I have neutral Harmony on the inside. So it's like a blank slate. I won't have this color to cover up next time. And I would have gotten, gotten neutral in this, but you know they were starting to scale back your options for the binder last year. So the only thing you could get in the binder was colorful mid-century circles. So I had no opportunity to get neutral if I was going to go with a binder. So that's that if you're interested in it. Okay, so I'm doing this plan with me late. Yesterday was the 7th. I filmed my June, st yes, June, set up plan with me, selected all of the memory verses for the month, and <clears throat> chose my book of the month and some goals and things like that. Today is Wednesday, and I'm just now getting around to this. I was sort of pooped on Monday because we had a recital on Sunday. And so this was catch-up day. I paid a bunch of bills and did a little bit of work around the house. That was a catch-up day. Yesterday was a filming day slash catch-up day. And today is more of a, I, I have gotten some forward planning done instead of just backtracking and catching up. So that's nice. All right, so this week I had a dermatologist appointment yesterday and I have a meeting tomorrow. So I wrote on these stickers before applying them. I just, it, it, whenever I can remember to do that, it actually works better for me. And Erin Condren paper is just slightly slick. The gel pen is not going to smear if I let it dry. So I'm just kind of tapping on the outside right now. And then on Thursday, that's actually when the meeting is. Oops. So today is not the meeting. Let's move this over. And I have something very similar to this craft spatula linked in the video description. Super for picking up stickers. So on Friday, nothing that I have on my radar that I have an appointment for. Uh, same on Saturday. And then Sunday, we'll have church. And then I have a baby shower after that for our grandbaby. And so that's it too. Still don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I'm going to dedicate Friday to doing some filming so I don't get behind again next week, hopefully. So this is going to go on for a bit. And I want to cover that with an event sticker. So I'm looking in my sticker collecting album from Amazon, which just has sticker release paper in it. And I sort my stickers by color here. And here is a pink section. So I believe... One of these leftover Mama Glorias would be good. All right, so let's, and I didn't write on it like I said I would. I need to write first, but that's okay. We can survive this and just write filming. Okay, and then I want to mark the 10th anniversary of when my best friend passed away, which was June 6th back in 2012. And I really cannot believe it's been that long. She was just a fixture in my life from eighth grade all the way until um, 2012. And she still has a lasting impact on my life. She's just someone who was genuine and real and a joy to know. And her children are grown. She now has three grandchildren and a fourth one on the way. And she would be so proud. She never got to meet the grandchildren. The last big thing that she did before she died was attend her oldest child's wedding. 
he was married in May back of 2012, and then she passed away the very next month, like just a couple weeks later. And she knew it was a gift that she was still here with us for the wedding. She really did not want to miss that. And she never saw her daughter, she would be so proud of her daughter, graduate from college, but she did graduate from college and she is married now and she has a child and she has um, her own business creating beautiful floral resin keepsakes for brides and, and other people. But anyway, this was the 10 year anniversary of Kim's passing. And even though Monday and Tuesday have already passed, I want to just go ahead and mark what I've done. So I did my filming for the June setup plan with me here. And I designed my July monthly sticker kit. And some of you are really excited about this. The Erin Condren monthly planners launched yesterday. And the official launch for the academic planners is on the 9th. But you know what? They've been up on the site since the 7th. So I'm just going to put their official launch uh, dates up here for future reference. But if you want a monthly planner or an academic planner, your um, time is now. And there is a super cool Star Wars limited edition of the academic planner that actually has Star Wars features on the inside, not just on the cover. That's super cool if you know someone who needs or wants an academic planner. And if you've never gotten an Erin Condren planner before, make sure you take advantage of the $10 off your first order referral link that's down in my video description because you can get $10 off anything. It doesn't even have to be a planner and there's no minimum. You can just order whatever you want and get $10 off if you sign up for an account using my referral link. Okay, and then to, here's today. So let me just kind of recap what I've done so far today. First of all, I was catching up on paperwork and planning, and then my dad dropped by and he brought me Starbucks, so that was awesome. And then after that, I made some sticker kits for some folks and made some stickers for myself, and I am filming. And I set up the lighting situation that is hopefully better. We'll wait and see after I watch this video. So that's what I've been doing here. And I guess I'll write down what we've already had for dinner and plan to have for dinner for tonight here. And I know that Friday is going to be pizza night. On Monday, there were two things that I did that I don't know why they slipped my mind, but I forget things as soon as they happen sometimes. But I did a final page for my seniors who just had their final recital. I did the final page for their senior books that would have the pictures that we took at the recital on Sunday. So I did senior books and then I also caught up on bills. That was kind of the main thing that I did. And today I caught up on YouTube comments because there were a slew of comments about the seasonal surprise box that I really had no chance to answer because I was getting ready for the recital. And finally today, I'm going, as soon as we hang up here, so to speak, I'm going to run over to my mom's and do some decluttering toss out any old milk or food or anything because she's coming back in town from a trip tomorrow and I would love to have that taken care of before she gets back. So she'll probably get home sometime in the mid-afternoon. Okay, I added the little residue, no, <laughs> the little part I trimmed off from this skinny pink washi strip down here because I like to use as much of the sticker sheets as I can. And then I have these left. Let's just find a little home for these and then the whole sheet will be used. And I'm going to be writing my memory verse and closing with prayer. That's something that I do at the end of this particular plan with me. So when we get to that point, I hope you'll join me if you would like to. So let's see here, we've got a couple of checklists. I probably will need one of these here, but we already used that color on Wednesday. So we'll switch to this dark green and then put a to-do list over here on Friday as well. So that was easy to do. All right, so when I did my June setup plan with me, I chose all of my memory verses for the month of June, and I'll show those to you now. So here's my June monthly spread, and my memory verses are all here. So we've already used this one. This one started back on May 30th, so 
they all have the word future in them. So this week's verse is, by doing this, they will be storing up their treasure as a good foundation for the future so that they may experience true life. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 19. That's going to go on my sidebar once I pop this back in the binder. But actually, put this in. I don't want to pop this back in the binder yet because it's going to be easier to write if I keep it out. So let's go into time lapse and I will write that verse from 1 Timothy. Okay, so you know what? This vegan leather cover makes a wonderful writing surface. So when I get into this book and it's time to write I am going to try to find some kind of leather or vegan leather flat surface to put under this when I write because I won't be able to take the pages out like I've gotten so used to and love doing. So let's put this page back into the binder and I want to do one last thing before we get to the prayer for the month and that is to add a few little palm frond stickers that I have. So let's put this in. Okay, so I noticed that I had this sheet just tucked up here um, in front of my desk and there is a palm frond right here or a banana leaf. I don't know what it is, but it's really pretty. So why don't we do it like here and I should do a slow motion flyover also, don't you think? Let's do this pink celebrate good times because you don't want to hang on to your Erin Condren stickers forever. They will lose their sticky, so use them up. Um, a word to the wise. So let's go celebrate the good times right here. Make it straighter. Celebrate the good times. Okay. And there's also a pink little pencil. I don't know what I want to do with this, but I could put it on catch up on finances. Right there. That's kind of cute. And there's a heart. <laughs> I'm going a little bit nuts now that I started this. What deserves, a, well, I'll give a heart to my friend Kim. That's what we'll do, that's perfect. Okay, so let's do a little slow motion flyover and then we'll say the prayer. Okay, so here is my prayer for the month of June, and I invite you to pray it with me if you would like to. Lord God, maker of heaven and earth and lover of our souls, speak to us this week and throughout the month and give us ears to hear you. Show yourself to us and give us eyes to see you. Use your creation, your children, your angels, and our circumstances to teach guide, correct, and grow us in our relationship and closeness to you. Reveal your nature to us and the beauty we see all around us. Help us to trust you through every storm that shakes the world. Give us wisdom and clarity when there is confusion and chaos at our door. We seek your forgiveness for past mistakes and willful disobedience. Your love has shown us mercy and compassion that makes our hearts ache with gratitude. Many of us have seen you at work in our lives in ways that are undeniable, yet sometimes indescribable. We pray for you to work mightily in the lives of those that we know who are far from you. In your mercy, bring people and circumstances into place that will cause these lost ones to seek you. What man means for evil, you mean for good. So take the acts of destruction in this world 
and work them into an outcome of goodness and righteousness. Fortify and bless those who are doing good in your sight. Weaken and confuse those who attempt to wreak havoc. May the world you made come to recognize you as Lord and as our one true love and hope. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, that's going to do it for me. However, did anybody notice I forgot to add the 34-week sticker um, yesterday, not yesterday, Sunday, right before this Monday here on the 5th. Baby was 34 weeks along. So uh, according to these Orange Umbrella Company stickers, which are pregnancy trackers, it is the size of a butternut squash. And I would say that Baby O'Brien is at least the size of a butternut squash, but aren't these adorable? They're so cute. Okay, so thank you guys for joining me. I've got links and discounts in the video description. If you're new here, welcome and thank you for stopping by. I hope you'll come back. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.